Dial Sequencer Plus looks in a real studio environment. It is running DOS, it is VGA signal, 5 volt ISA driven using a real Sequencer Plus hardware adapter. This is the back of the rack. This is a Voyetra V24S. Voyetra, two inputs, four outputs, and SMPTE. SMPTE is a timecode that is professionally used to synchronize between recording devices. There we go. So we want this to be a drum track, so we will set it to channel 10. Uh, it's got metronome turned on, so if you didn't hear that. metronome is coming from the speaker of the PC out of the monitor. The drum track you're hearing is coming from my Electribe. I don't know why it's so quiet, but, oh, I know why, because we have volume out here somewhere. There's the volume, so we can increase the volume of those notes, because they're probably put down at exactly half of volume. So if we go up 100, that would be 100%. So we can turn metronome off, so it's probably an option. A clock is internal. Metronome. There we go. Off using the mouse. Now we don't hear a metronome. On channel 10 for our snare drum. So there's our hi-hat. There's our hi-hat sound. Escape, loop both these, loop and loop. on video, Mew. Oh, sorry. So now that you've learned all about the Sequencer Plus, the big reveal is that what you just witnessed, the song you heard playing, the mouse, the keyboard, was all running on a modern HDMI monitor driven by a USB mouse and USB keyboard, a USB MIDI interface on hardware 
that you have already recognized as a Raspberry Pi. So for $50 in hardware, you can now duplicate the vintage PC that would cost many thousands of dollars for professional use. Now, I would not recommend that this Raspberry Pi version be used professionally. However, for a live rig to play back Sequence of Plus songs in a situation where there's no need to be concerned about the hardware, this is a fantastic thing. You have Bluetooth, you have Ethernet, you have built-in sound. Part of the built-in sound could very easily be built-in synthesizers. Now, there's probably some performance limitation that might get exceeded if you turn all these things on. But right now, as it sits, for $50 in hardware, I am running the best sequencer ever made. The caveat is, it is only one channel of MIDI out. You wouldn't use it necessarily for studio work, but for scratch pad use on the road, or in the truck, or in a car, in the bus, touring, outside the studio environment. This was referred to me as a bog stock USB adapter. I bought it on Amazon for about $2 delivered from Hong Kong. It came in one week inside of a mail pouch with free shipping. I have no idea how they could afford to do that, but it works perfectly. You can hear this now. The MIDI input does work. This is me playing a key. But you can't hear anything because there's nowhere for that signal to go in this particular environment. But there is a signal for the output. The sounds you're hearing are going into a Korg Electribe with one drum track and two synthesizer tracks. Sequencer Plus is running on a modern HDMI USB CPU processor using Linux to emulate a DOS machine. So while I did not invent anything here, I have the operating system environment to the emulator that allows this to succeed. This uses a insignificantly small CPU that is the size of a deck of cards. It is common and ordinary. There is nothing unique or special about it. I ordered it from the internet back in April and Today is the first day that I've been comfortable using it as a machine. For around $50 in hardware, all completely modern machinery, you can run the world's best sequencer. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like and subscribe the Coleco Brothers YouTube channel and make some comments on this video. This is a very exciting video and we're happy to provide this information. Please check out the other Coleco Brother videos to see Voyager Sequencer Plus Gold in action. I have a small amount of business attached to this video. I have a rack mount 5U DOS ISA PC. I believe it's a 486100 running Sequencer Plus Gold using a Voyager V22 MIDI interface in hardware. It works just fine. It is responsible for recording the positive NPV albums featured on the Clico Brothers channel. Go give it a listen and if you're interested in this kind of MIDI interface leave me a message attached to this video and I will find a way to communicate back to you.